I'm Atika Green from Dave's Garden, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this bundle of sticks into a beautiful rose bush. A beautiful, healthy rose bush is every gardener's dream. While I know it's tempting to go out to your local garden store to get the prettiest rose bush you can find, transplanting is the best way to make sure that your rose bush will last all year. A bare root rose is actually pretty simple. It's pretty much a dormant rose plant with its roots exposed instead of submerged in the soil like many other plants. Bare roots. Choosing to plant one of these is much less expensive than purchasing an already established rose bush. And you'll get more variety and color. Let's be honest, roses are all about color and variety. One of the most important things to remember about transplanting is timing. Late winter or early spring is the best window. Even waiting a few weeks creates problems. It may seem good if your plant is budding with small leaves, but for rose buds, that means the rose is too far along and won't survive and transplant. Speaking of timing, you wanna make sure you plan out your transplanting ahead of time. Keeping your roots hydrated is extremely important. So even if the roots come moist straight out of package, make sure to put them into water before planting. Depending on how dry your roots are, you can soak them from anywhere up to an hour or a full day. While your roots are soaking, let's prepare our planting spot. Since our surrounding soil isn't ideal, we're gonna be using fertilizer. Start digging your hole. I'm digging my hole more wide than I am deep, since these roots tend to grow outward when they develop rather than grow down. If you're still waiting for your roots to soak, take this time to sift through the hole you just dug. You wanna pick out any debris, large rocks, pretty much anything that isn't soil. It's an added precaution, but the bare roots are very vulnerable. When you're ready, grab your rose from the bucket of water and place it in the center of the hole. If it doesn't stay centered or straight, you can have a friend help you prop it up while you throw in the fertilizer. But make sure you pick the right one. We're adding osmocone because it's ideal for bare root roses. This is ideal because it releases nutrients slowly. Rose roots that get too much nutrition too fast can actually suffer and get burned from the excess chemicals present. Now it's time to add our osmocote. This formula is ideal for our roses. While another plant food would damage these sensitive roots, these work using osmosis and only release the right amount of nutrients at the right time. Finish covering the rest with fertilizer so that your plant food is about three inches below the surface level. You wanna add enough to completely cover the roots, plus a little bit more so that the bottom inch or two of stem is also buried. You already know the roots need to stay moist, so you want to tampen down the soil so that there are no air holes to keep the roots from drying up. Because of patience and good planning, the spring season should have roses blooming for you in a few months. For Dave's Garden, I'm Atika Green. Don't forget to stop and smell the roses.